Ooh, now the mosaicing, which a large chunk of the folks were interested in. So Dave, tell us about mosaicing. Uh, mosaicing is essentially uh, grouping together a series of small images to create a bigger one. Uh, generally, when you're doing that, you would output to a highly compressed format like JPEG 2000 or ECW. So here I have a bunch of small JPEG 2000s, and uh, we're just bringing them together into this mosaicer. And there's a few things here. Is it worth looking at any of these? Um, I guess this must be this alignment section must be what gets what to sell, tell us what to do if the input images aren't quite lined up. Exactly. If they don't fall, if the if the pixel corners don't fall on the same interval. Um, which is something that's required in the in the final output mosaic. We have uh, different methods of moving those or adjusting those input images so that they all fall in the same pixel boundaries. And I think the first image in sets the pixel boundaries. Is that yes, right? Yes, it does. The first one in does that. This business of no data is also uh, interesting. No data is all is a, what basically special values in cells or pixels, which means hey, we don't know what's there. Yeah, essentially, it's an empty pixel. Right, and so we can say. Um, if we're mosaicing and you have already put data down that uh, that has a value, and now later on comes a guy in that has no value for that area, what do we want to do? Uh, exactly. So if uh, by ex by default the no data overwrites data is set to no. So if you start off with say a base image and you lay down a smaller image that's irregular and so has no data areas around the periphery, those no data areas will yes. be filled in by the earlier uh, base image. Right. So they basic, basically, we will try our best to fill in all the holes. Exactly. And now, I always get this wrong, Dave. Is the first image in the winner or the last image in the winner? The first image is in the in, image is the... Actually, the, 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 the last image is the winner. It's right. The, the analogy is if you're basically laying down photographs on a table. Right. So if you start with a large photograph and you lay down some more smaller photographs with holes cut in them, which would be applicable, uh, analogous to the, the, the empty pixels, what you see if on that table is essentially what you're going to see in FME. So what you'd want to do, too, if you had images of different resolution, put the most coarse resolution down first. Exactly. And then the finest ones last, and that should give you the best result. How do you control that? Well, in FME, we can do this thing called sorting. And so we can go and use a sorter, which could sort stuff um, ahead of going into the mosaic. So we could sort by pixel size, for example, yep. and sort it in uh, descending order. So the biggest guy comes in first, and that would give the best result. Exactly. So th that's just uh, some things about mosaicing. I don't know if there's too much else. We, we, there's other options in here about merging palettes. That's to do with. Uh, but images that have color tables. Exactly. Um, not so much used in these days, but in the old days to save uh, space in a file, and the GIF uh, files yes. are, are, are yeah. a good example of this, is that they would have a palette of 256 colors. And so you would only need an 8-bit image to store uh, what would normally be stored in a 24-bit image. Right. Uh, actually, palleted images work really well if you're coming from um, vector line work. Say if you're rendering out a, a, a map. Because usually there's a limited number of colors. Yes. There's even, we have a bunch of operations in FME around palettes. One worth pointing out to folks is that there is a palette generator in here as well that will go ahead and um, basically create you a palette. Yeah. Uh, giving it its best shot. And uh, you can also say, hey, look, I want to I limit the palette to say, well, at most, or at least 16, I can say 20 or whatever, and it'll jam the colors down to that. But um, that's a bit of an advanced bit of functionality as well. Yes, it is. We're not showing that today, actually. No, we're not. OK, quick, I'll get rid of it. Um, so anyway, that's mosaicing, very powerful, widely used. And I, I was pleased to see how many folks out there want to use it. It's As you saw, too, the workspaces are very simple. Just drag everything connected into the mosaicer, and one thing comes out. So that's pretty straightforward. And possibly sort stuff ahead of time if you care about order.